starting to today's adventure off here at Harley's Bait and Liquor. As you know, I got a truck full of gear. I got three tip-ups all set for eight pound. Shanty, tip-ups, gear, auger, chair. I gotta get these out. Let's go inside and get some fresh. And that's all set. Now we're gonna go over to our fishing spot. And from here, the lake is right there. I mean, I can see it. Now we'll get to the lake and drag out some gear. We watch that flag come up. Hey, there you go. Here we go. I got my tip up set over there. This. The time is 5.51. And even though I was solo, it took me a little while longer to get out here today. I just want to get a line in the water. I'm going with the pink dinner bell. There it is, you can barely see it. Pink dinner bell. There, I'm down on the bottom, and now I can start my jigging. All right, let's even go down and tap on the bottom again. I pull my drag from my front because I mean, that's where the load's going to come from, and I want to make sure that it's good and where it needs to be. Tighten that up just a little bit, otherwise, I... nope, still a little tighter. I got a very slight breeze coming from this way, so I got my door set up over here. My guy Jason has already caught one tonight. I'm gonna really try to make some noise here. And then I do believe we're gonna figure out how to hook up. If I gotta get out, I wanna be able to drop in my rattle reel. If I ain't jigging, I wanna keep a line in the water. All right, I'm using a, a dredge and the Black Betty from 13 Fishing. And I got that dinner spell on, dinner spoon on. And this thing's ready to do work. I mean, this one is ready to go. I got the pan optics ripping right next to me. I'm looking over this way, and I can see that I got a nice little pitch that comes up, probably 35 feet before it starts coming up. All right, I found a mark at 15 feet this way. I'm gonna bring my lure up to it. I'm gonna do a little bit of jingling. It's 20 feet away from me behind you now. Okay, we're at 17 feet. It's it's a good one it's over two feet if i can get this one to bite we're over two feet all right he's at 15 feet coming our way and i'm tapping and i'm going up i'm bringing it down to 15 feet he is straight behind you right now coming our way solid nice solid fish bringing it up and dropping it okay he's about eight feet away but he's right over here now he's to the side of me. Now he's moving away from me that way. Yeah. Nice. So you want ten dollars for that? Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy it back for you. for sale. <laughs> That's a nice one. Skinny on them though. Just a little size 10 hook. Yeah, yeah, little ones. Yep. It's like I set up a mine. Yeah. Oh, beautiful clothes on the Oh, yeah. It's about the same size as the other. What I like about this this tip up is yeah, it's, it's so buttery. It just, oh, there we go. just goes slow and steady. <laughs> All right, so that's two walleyes on the ice. Jason's got them both. It's a nice looking fish, 30 feet out. I will continue jigging and I will continue to look for my lights. That was an awesome fish. That was good. You marked another fish right away? Yeah. <laughs> Critical. I got a mark over here too. Huh? Oh, incredible. Incredible. I got a flag. And I'm marking fish. This is craziness. Yeah. Right, go for it. Yeah. He's there. He's there. Kick, 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 
kick, kick, kick, kick, tug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leader. But bam. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Another little walleye on the ice. Huh? We're going to eat this one too. Huh? Huh? Right in the lip, right in the snout, right where he wanted it. That might be a little shy though, huh? I have a one. I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah? I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah. Got a little growth on his face. Yeah. Got a little growth on his face there. Yeah. Huh? Sure. Not bad. Oh, good one. Good guy. Good guy. Okay, here he goes. Here he goes. Thank you, brother. You were a good catch. You were fun. Gonna fly away? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's my hook. Again, this is just a fathead minnow. I'm gonna stick them right by the dorsal so there. All right, live and kicking. Then we're gonna drop him back down. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like I'm gonna pull this up just a little higher. Years, get, on the, get on them wilds. The light is still going. You know they're here. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal experience. And I'm still marking fish on this screen. Up over this way. All right, I got my hook stuck in the wall now. First bait on this guy. The minnow gets ripped in half. The head goes on here. Again, still got a mark 35 feet behind you right now. We got two tip ups out. Jason's got a bunch of tip ups out. All right, now we're gonna drop our line down. Okay, we're back in the shack and we're jigging again. Back in the shack and jigging. I've seen some good marks today. Yeah, I'm in uh, 21 feet of water, 735. I got it set up at 58% uh, grain. I can see 50 feet out. No heater on yet today. It's really not that bad. I even got the door open. I'm, as long as I'm out of this little tiny breach that's here, it's not really not threatening. I'm looking uphill. And then over here, I'm looking at my tip-ups. No tip up lights. Now I'm looking behind me. It says I'm in 20 feet of water, even though I haven't moved anywhere. I'll stay out for another hour. Hour 20. I'll go until 9 o'clock and we'll pull the plug. We had things firing off pretty quick here. About an hour ago. It was pretty exciting. That's when we caught our fish tonight. Now we're just jigging. Um, I did get cold a little earlier. Then I moved. I shifted the whole camp and then I was pretty nice and toasty and even though I don't show fish on the on the live scope it's happened many times where suddenly boom they come up and hit it they come from outside of the cone and investigate or crush it right I'm running a lighter setup today on the tip-ups and on the pole um, for these walleye tonight I don't I'm not going after the pike that's a wrap all right so uh Thanks for watching.